Good morning. It is Monday, March 29th, day seven here at Alchemical Vitality. This is my N equals one. I am Brian. I'm not a medical professional. This is for information, entertainment purposes only. So check this out. This is my healing journey. I invite you to come along with me with your due diligence, your responsibility to yourself and your body. If you're planning on making any changes, consult with your physician. Here we go. I am on this journey. I've had a great weekend. I had a fantastic week. This is my day seven. That is uh, wrapping up this week, this first week of tracking and sharing uh, my changes that have gone on. And man, has it been it's been a wild ride, so I took a day off kind of yesterday, and you'll see that in the numbers. Um, I've made a slight, slight bit of changes here, so we can move forward. I'm going to jump right in this morning, and I want to get right into my measurements this morning. As you can see here on the screen, I have taken my blood pressure already this morning instead of having multiple failures of the this machine, this particular machine. So I have a blood pressure this morning of 133.94. It's definitely coming down a little bit, as you can see. Uh, I have just started my day. I just got up. I've got. I woke up with a heart rate of 73, and I've only had a few steps. So this is this is where we're at this morning. Um, let's move on. Let's move on to the next thing. My sleep for the night. My sleep last night was says I was in bed for six hours and 32 minutes and I actually slept five hours and five minutes my waking pulse this morning was right there at 74 uh, my sleep sleep quality it says 65 percent but I'll tell you what I slept like a baby so uh, I've really been into like tending to my sleep for a very long time and we've had like blackout curtains for such a long time and the blackout curtains uh, they just deteriorated over time and w it was kind of like a kind of like a leaky bucket you know uh, they started letting a lot of light in and I, man I did not realize it until we put new curtains up last night put new curtains up last night and it was so nice. I slept so deep and so in, so like a baby. Well, you know, I slept more like a log. I don't think I moved. But babies, babies, that, that, that phrase is a little off, I think. I slept like a log. I don't, didn't even move. I felt like such a deep sleep. And uh, so I do sleep, I do sleep next to a road and some of that I'm, I'm almost certain is, is road noise and my kids coming into the room, but I don't wake up. So let's see here. Let's go on to the next thing. My weight, my weight, my weight this morning. Let's go to the main page. 293. Yes, it, it did tick up a little bit and I'll tell you why it ticked up. It went from down to 290 to 293 or 290.8 to 293. I'm going to show you why it ticked up. So it, it'll be, it'll be okay. Here we go. Um, all right, let's switch. Let's move over to this morning's me measurements. Uh, all right, this morning, this morning's measurements. Let's switch over here to the down camera. All right, here we go. O2 first, O2 first. It's interesting. I got a, I got a little bit of stress, but my oxygen is good. Did you see that? Started with a ninety seven. Now it's dropping to a ninety three. It'll go up and down. I'm talking a lot, so it does it does that. So one interesting thing is I went to check this this uh, temperature here against. Can you see it? Is it gonna? Is it not gonna go for it? doesn't want to do it today 
There we go, 97.3, right? So that's the temperature of 97.3. And I was curious if that was an internal temperature also. So I took a under the tongue thermometer and lo and behold, same, same, same. Um, let's do this real quick. Let's get some, let's get the um, <clears throat> ketones going this morning. I'm probably sure this is either going to say low or 0.1 at the most because yesterday was a fun day and uh, if you follow if you follow the channel over on YouTube you'll see that there's a new walking video up today that walking video uh, that walking video was done at Universal City Walk yesterday and because we were out and about we we hit some fun Korean barbecue up for dinner and then we or lunch and then had some see I told you point one I was having some fun yesterday for sure and so the restrictions come off because it's sometimes a challenge to eat out uh, when you're traveling you know you just want to just want to let, let loose and cut free and all that's uh, yeah, cause whatever <laughs> okay here we go here's the blood sugar coming in yep that's that's that okay so let's uh, jump in a little bit further let's make a note of that ketones point one blood sugar this morning was Oi, 236. Like I said, this is dawn phenomenon for me. I'll have a little bit of food in a few minutes and it'll smack it down within an hour or two. Okay. Um, the blood pressure this morning, we saw that. Let's switch on over so you can see this, this uh, my notepad here. Okay, so there's all the statistics for this morning. My blood pressure this morning was at 133 over 94 uh, still still high it's going to be high for a while in the morning but it's coming down if you've been following along it's definitely coming down over the past couple of days um, I haven't eaten anything yet so I can't fill that out like always we'll revisit that tomorrow my stress level this morning. I've got a little bit of low level stress. I've got a class that's starting today. So um, yeah, and I w I'm up a little bit early today. I was up at 4.45 this morning. So we'll see, it's gonna be a long day. Um, let's go back to yesterday and double check in on yesterday. Okay, so let me change the color here so we can differentiate from yesterday to today. Okay, so exercise. I walked around for about an hour yesterday at Universal City Walk, and uh, like I said, you'll see that video over on the YouTube if you're interested in get, you know, doing like an indoor walk with me type video, or you just want to see what's going on at uh, Universal Studios right now and how they're opening up and not. And so we walked the City Walk, and then <clears throat> my water was also kind of low t yesterday. I probably got like. Um, well, I definitely got my 64 ounces, but uh, I'm trying to trying to add it up here on my head. I'm probably about 80 ounces for the day. I had uh, some Perrier. I had some other waters that weren't just straight my gigantic jar that I usually keep here next to me. Uh, breakfast yesterday, no breakfast. Uh, I had I did well, bulletproof coffee or fatty coffee. That was my breakfast. I ate lunch about uh, one o'clock at 1 p.m. And I did make this note here. This was 1.32 yesterday after after this meal. And I had uh, Korean chicken and uh, short rib. And we shared this thing called the seafood pancake.
here's the interesting thing. This this one I'm certain was uh, tempura, which is a flour based batter, a well, wheat flour based batter. Then I also had some um, mandu, which is gyoza, and those are definitely uh, wrapped in wheat flour. So yes, I have wheat flour, and this right here, I was probably at at seventy something before this meal, and this is this right here is why I don't do wheat. It's why I don't do wheat because every time I eat wheat or corn, <clears throat> my pulse gets so intensely high. It's definitely doing something to my body that's not in a good state. So this is if you if you wonder why I don't do wheat or don't do don't do gluten and wheat and corn, even though they say corn is gluten free, it's it's a big lie. Uh, if you're sensitive to wheat gluten, you're probably more sensitive to the gluten in corn, and nobody's nobody's looking at that. So. It's one of those one of those things and this is it anytime it's kind of a general rule that I found anytime that my pulse bumps up over 15 beats per minute with a meal something in that meal I'm having an allergic response to and so what I would call an allergic response my body is my body's responding to something that I ate in that meal negative negatively and this is this is and I'll feel this I'll feel this and it, it runs me down makes me tired so tired after and because I had I had that for lunch uh, you know we went straight on a walk and that definitely helps and then for dinner yeah dinner uh, dinner was carne asada Carne asada and guac, uh, with the salsa, with salsa, we'll call it salsa. Okay, uh, and then I had two tacos, two hard shell tacos. But this one, this one, the corn is an intense, as intense for me last night. The it was like maybe like one ten for my um, my pulse after eating that which is not good also but it did go up um, and this was late this was at 8, eight o'clock last night because we were driving back from LA <clears throat> and uh, meditation that didn't happen yesterday and like I said I haven't been measuring my weight at bed but I was exhausted by the time you know, we drive up from San Diego two hours to L.A. and back. You know, that's a four-hour drive. I was exhausted. Uh, and that does take a lot, a lot out of you. So I didn't have a high stress level, but I was tired. My supplements for the yesterday were vitamin, uh, vitamin D and B-complex. Uh, apple cider vinegar. I'll put ACV here. Um... I'm doing the scram still for till the bottle's gone. Um, that was a quantity of 10. Um, it's good maintenance, good maintenance to do because, you know, like for whatever reason, they say, you know, Amer American meat doesn't have any parasites. Eh, I don't think, no, I don't know about that. I, I don't know if I believe that. Um, so vitamin D, B complex, uh, I did magnesium again. Like I do a magnesium all the time. I actually do several sorts of magnesium in a magnesium complex. And I did zinc. Did I do, I didn't do any, uh, any of that. And then, uh, yeah, that was that. Yesterday I walked. Uh, did a video actually I did two videos um, and uh, drove 
So today we'll get back on plan, we'll get back on point, and you'll see the you'll see the difference in my numbers come tomorrow. It'll start to start start coming back down. I am gonna sit quite a bit today, so that I'm gonna have to hurry up and jump on the jump on the exercise because I I'm I need to take a walk before before sitting from all day today. I don't, yeah, it'll be good. And like always, if you're interested in watching me heal my body, I'm here to do that. I'm working on it every day. I'm not perfect. Like I, you saw, I had tacos yesterday, and and they attacked me. And I had I had wheat yesterday also. Um, you know, but like we still have to live. We still have to live. Um, and we make decisions on a moment to moment basis. We just want to make decisions that compound for the better not decisions that compound for the worse and you know it's easy to go both ways and have and make those decisions that are compounding your health or your lifestyle to the to the negative and it's all about it's all about that mindset and and saying you know like sometimes we just need we need to have cut loose and be fancy free and have fun and love the ones that we're with and around each other and so let me let me just finish here this morning by saying i love you hope you follow me hope you enjoy this journey and i hope that you start healing too um do it in your own time learn about your body learn about everything that you your body does because there's a, a misbelief that you know what's good for the goose is good for the gander and it's not always true because not everybody can do the same things that everybody else can do. We're all, we all came into this world with our own set of genetic information and our own genetic information responds differently. And then on to, to compound that, we have a microbiome that has its own genetic information. It's going gonna, it's gonna to definitely react with this world in a different way as well. So become your own biohacker, bio modify your life so that you can be vital and you can go play with the kids and play like a kid and have fun and do those things that you've always loved to do or have always wanted to do. Don't wait, start now, do it now. I love you. Follow, like, subscribe, share this content with your friends and be peaceful. Find that peace in your heart and love. All right, friends. Bye for now.